So, adding a relay to a lighting circuit. How to do it? Why do you want to do it? Well, the obvious why is because you want to improve what you've got. Uh, with modern bikes, not normally so much of a problem. With old bikes, the lighting circuit typically looks like this. You have a battery and a bulb at the front of the bike with main and dipped and goes to ground. And you have a switch on the handlebars, free position, off, main, dip. Wire comes out the battery, goes to the handlebar switch, that's off at the moment, and then main and dip poles go to the bulb to complete the circuit. So switch on the headlight bulb, electricity comes out the battery, through the bulb, bulb lights up. Good. The problem with that approach is the amount of power which you can draw through this circuit. If you've got uh, maybe a low wattage bulb or maybe you want to put two bulbs rather than one in place, more of which later, that means that you will be drawing more power through this circuit because the voltage is constant. Um, so you'll be taking more power through that handlebar switch and through that wiring. Uh, the handlebar switch it can be a problem. Um, if you try to draw too much power through it, it will catch fire, which is obviously not good. It might keep your hands warm, but it's not good. The wiring um, is, is a bit more subtle um, of a problem because that wiring is it's going to be 20, 30 years old um, and typically it's very thin wire, it may have gone a bit brittle with time and so you're attempting to draw a lot of current through some quite old wiring, it may heat up, you'll get a voltage drop so the bulb gets even dimmer, not good. Actually it's worse than that thinking about it because this wire doesn't go like that. You have an ignition switch as well. So typically this old wiring goes from the battery at the back of the bike all the way to the front of the bike to the ignition switch, all the way to the back of the bike to your fuse box and then back to the front of the bike for the handlebar switch for the lighting. Clearly that's rubbish uh, and, and if we can replace that so much the better. This is where relays come into it. Um, a relay is just a simple switch. It has four poles Quite often they have five, but the ones that we'll be using have four poles um, for a lighting circuit. The fifth pole tends to be unused anyway. Two of those poles carry a low current and they then use that low current to switch a high current. So in this case, we want the low current side to be the handlebar switch. So like that. So we wire that to the low current side of the relay and then the high current side we have one pole goes to the battery other goes through the bulb to ground so we use the low current going through the handlebar switch to make that high current circuit so the bulb comes on so that means that we're not drawing a high current through that handlebar switch we get a more uh, efficient path for the electricity to take it improves the life of that handlebar switch as well as an added benefit, it means that we can increase either the wattage of the bulb or the number of bulbs. We can put two bulbs in place where previously there may have been only one. That's the theory. I mean, all of this looks quite complex, particularly you have to have two relays, one for high, one for main beam. It looks a bit complex on the whiteboard. Actually, when you get to wiring it, it's quite straightforward um, because you can double up the wiring on the high side and the low side there. I've just made it look even worse, trust me. Once we get out to the garage and do it, it actually looks a lot better than that. So that's how you do it. That's why we want to do it. Let's get on with it.